bout between Eddie Alvarez and Charles Oliveira. Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jujitsu. If he's able to extend these jujitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the under. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people so, believe, yeah, his opponent is in a so world of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Alvarez is two years the elder. Oliveira will have a five-inch edge in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 8 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Charles de Brox Oliveira! And now, producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 30 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Eddie Alvarez. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway.
Olivera gets the double leg takedown. Nothing telegraphed about that shot. Well done. Trying to set up a submission now. security messing around with this guy on the ground he's got submissions from everywhere goes to the heel hook well today. beautiful finish by this jiu-jitsu ace he went right from the top position into that heel hook and got the finish Charles Oliveira all right let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight champ I mean you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard he's so skilled He's so tricky and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 37 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by a tap out due to a heel hook. Charles, the Bronx Oliveira! Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission, he got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most.